So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at 801, Banshee, Zer, and then Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's leaving for the week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that's also something that's really useful. Other than that, let's look at the fit for the video first. So this one is going to be new because I'm working on some sets. And this one I really like a lot because it's pure cloth with the helmet being the only piece that isn't cloth but even then it still has this color so for the helmet refurbished black armory and then for the exotic it's going to be knucklehead radar with the nine days slash nights ornament which is my favorite ornament and then sato tribe for everything else because again sato tribe for cloth gives it this gray color and then refurbished refurbished black armory also gives it that gray color so all of it is the same color which is pretty cool at least i like this co color combination it looks really cool that the, all, the other annoying thing is the fact that vanguard dares uh, specifically the boots right here are really annoying to shaders so that's another reason why i went with sato tribe because i knew it was just going to combine everything into one so this is for a video specifically for the Vanguard Dare stuff. So this is the boot set. So you guys will see the other pieces in that video, hopefully, because I still have two weeks. And I should be able to pump out the review and shader video, plus the um, the Hunter Titan and Warlock videos. And then I'm going to do the Forge Armor as well for all of the classes as well, because that one did get sold <clears throat> a few weeks ago. And then after that, honestly, we'll talk about it at the end of the video but man i have a lot of content to make and almost no time so let's actually look at 801 real quick so 801 has funnily enough sato tribe i love this shader this is like one of my favorite shaders in the game obviously i'm using this shader for everything but the helmet but for plate it's really really cool because you guys will actually notice it from like the weapon or even the helmet it has blue and like almost like an off-white but it's not off-white it's like a blue white so i definitely would recommend this shader it's one of the best shaders in the game specifically from the forge i think it's the best shader uh flowers of io this is also a pretty good shader this one i have <clears throat> for if i remember cor correctly flowers of io is the shader that i use for the playlist armor that we got a few like i think a season back ago the like bone the uh the bone armor this is the shader i use for it and then new monarchy diamonds which is i think this is the good one I think this is yeah this is the good one i like this one a lot it's the iron man shader so i definitely would recommend this one and then for the armor it's all right here so hunters i think the helmet is really cool i think the arms are really cool i think the boots are really cool i think the i shouldn't say really cool i think the buck boots are pretty cool and i think the cloak is really cool it just shaders really terribly i think the chest piece is the only like bad piece if i'm being quite honest and then titans if i remember correctly helmet i actually like quite a bit um arms i'm not the biggest fan of the arms the chest piece is really cool i like the boots and then the mark is kind of like whatever's warlocks uh the helmet is unique the arms are pretty okay the chest piece is really cool the boots are pretty normal and i think the bond is like the coolest piece so i definitely would recommend some of the pieces here if you have the legendary shards i would just get all of it because you might never know when you might need a piece see you next time as for Banshee, we have Lunalata 4B with Ensemble Adrenaline Junkie, Arvindil FR6 with Hipfire Grip and Demo, Velpacula with Outlaw and Multi Kill Clip, Cold Denial with Grave Robber and Multi Kill Clip, and then Code Dulo with Auto Loading Holster and Room of Lighting. So I would probably get Velpacula, Outlaw and Multi Kill Clip sounds nice, and then Cold Denial, Grave Robber with Multi, I really wouldn't care, but Velpacula I definitely would pick up if you guys are interested in any of these. As for Zuri, he's on Watcher's Grave on Ness is currently selling the Season of the Seraph Seasonal Armor, which is really, really cool. I definitely would recommend some pieces, specifically Titans. Man, let me tell y'all guys, I made some cool sets with some of the Titan pieces, but we're going to start off with Hunters first. Hunters, I think the helmet is definitely usable. I think the arms and the boots are probably the weakest portions from this set. I think the chest piece is cool, and I think the cloak has some potential. Uh, Titans. Okay. <clears throat> I don't like the helmet. I don't like the arms. The chest piece, I think, is the best piece. I think the boots are decent, and I think the mark is definitely usable as well. I think, like, I've made a really cool set with this one. I'll probably show you after we're done looking at the armor. But Warlocks, uh, helmet, I'm not the biggest fan of. The arms, I'm not the biggest fan of. I remember, if I remember correctly, I don't like the chest piece. I'll have, like, a little note here just in case. Um, 
boots are interesting i think the bond is boring so i definitely think some pieces are definitely viable for this uh as for the example set that i made it is one of my favorite sets actually i'll be right back so here's the example set that i made it's one of my favorite sets that i've made uh like it go everything goes together so well the helmet is gonna be actually let's go up to the menu so i can show you midnight x again for the helmet for the arms it's gonna be the uh feed feedback fence for the chest piece obviously it's the war mines avatar chest piece the one that's being sold right now and then braytech snow boot, snow boots with the tekken's regalia mark just go together so well i will say on males this looks way better just because it looks a lot more bulky and way like more juggernauty but even with females it looks really really cool and i again like i said this chest piece definitely has a place in your fashion repertoire you just need to give it a chance and see what you can find and make look good so again i think a lot of these pieces are going to be dub definitely pick some of these up as for the armor rolls they're all right here definitely check some of them out <clears throat> Yeah, so that's pretty much it. As for the weapons, True Prophecy with Rangefinder and Rampage, Shepherd's Watch with Outlaw and Osmosis, Legal Action 2, Feeding Frenzy and Rampage, The Day Aside with Surplus and Elemental Capacitor, Ikelos Sniper Rifle with Overflow and Elemental Capacitor, Fa Falling Guillotine with Relentless Strikes and Counterattack, and then Memory Interdict with uh, Clown Cartridge and Disruption Break. So. I think this is the only red border weapon in here. I call a sniper rifle. Other than that, I think everything else is. I would probably say True Prophecy is pretty nice. Range Finder, it is nerfed, but you might never know when they uh, buff it again. We have Hawk Moon with Quick Draw, and then for the other exotic, we have Arbalist, which is one of the best weapons in the game. I definitely would recommend this one. It's not as good as it used to be from what people say, but I still think it's one of the best ones just because. Getting a weapon that has barrier just intrinsically is just going to be really, really good. Um, any weapon that has any champion breaking intrinsically is just going to be good automatically for me. So Arbalist is definitely a weapon that I use a lot. We have Raiju's Harness, Aeon Swift, and then the Stag. I would say the Stag's probably the best one at 30 for fucking recovery is wild. Um, 40, once you, uh, once you master break this and put a recovery mod on it, it'll be a 42, which is insane. And then these two are kind of like whatevers. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Let me see what I get since I have legendary shards to spare. Severance enclosure. Okay. I'll, I'll look at it. I'm mixing. I'm interested, but let's go to Eververse real quick. As for Eververse, we have Tide Smoke, which is definitely a shader I would recommend just because it, re it is really, really cool and you just have to give it a chance we have oiled gunmetal which is amazing i love this shader it's one of the coolest shaders especially on weapons uh stasis entrance for the transmat effect we have unloved to be cherished for the beloved i would recommend this ornament i like it a lot more than the base uh beloved well that's hard to say actually because i do like beloved's base look but this one is really really cool as well Unchained. Did it break when? Okay, just breaks. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have the Vanguard Dare, which I absolutely hate this shader. Or, well, it's basically a shader for this gun, but yeah, I'm not a fan of it. It's I get the reference, I just don't like it. Um, Wanderer's Wagon. Refashion shapes. Multi band shell. And then we have the straw, co straw crossed mark for the Titans. For take out the trash for the emo, which I am tempted to get this one because one of my friends has this and it's pretty funny. And then for the transmat effects, we have resurrected shadow. I don't even have this one. Blind clutch, blind clutch, blind clutch. Oh my god, that was hard to say. Guiding light, and then for the shaders we have iridian chariot or chariote, chariot, whatever. Uh, Royal treatment, which is a pretty good shader. This is also the shader that is on the base armor of where is it? It's the void armor. This one, the desolation 
diver stuff for the titans so if you are ever interested to get this shade as a shader then it's gonna be the royal treatment for the other stuff gold golden age wine and then deep sea jaunt so let me do this real quick so that way you guys are aware of what the other ones look like so for the hunters let me go hunters actually it's in the first page hunters yours is the vanguard dare set so I definitely would recommend this one. It's Cade's cloak essentially, and it's really, really cool. Just be aware that the red right here does not change color. And then Warlocks, I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's the Symmetrist, um, or Bond of Reciprocity, whatever it says, it's right here. I'm not the biggest fan of it just because it literally looks like a fucking, like, yeah, it's just this, it's boring, so. To be fair, the Symmetrist set is just kind of like trash in my opinion, so I wouldn't pick it up. I picked it up only because it was free for Bright Dust at the time, or it was up for Bright Dust, and I was like, fuck it, might as well. You might never know when it's needed. I made some cool sets with it, but at the same time, I will never make those sets aside from because I made him for the video. But that is pretty much it for your last call video. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Like I said, I think there's some things definitely worth picking up. Be aware that we only have this week and next week for the last calls. And then after, well, I shouldn't say that because we'll always be doing last calls. But I, I'm specifically talking about last calls for the season of The Wish because June 4th is when the new expansion comes out. So make sure you're going to be doing a lot of things. Like I'm personally going to be having to play Destiny 2 for a lot, like a lot, a lot because I still don't have... The seasonal stuff available like done i only need 10 challenges to complete but some of them are kind of like i don't want to do that and not only that i still have to get some of the red border weapons thankfully uh bungie made it easier for us but at the same time i just still hate it but like there's there's still some some things that i don't have like optative i still i like all the weapons from season of the undying i don't have at all there's some that I haven't even collected at all. Like I know for, for sure the submachine gun, I don't even have it in general. I still haven't unlocked it. So I still have to play a bunch of the Season of the Wish. So that way I can get those weapons. Um, because honestly, I think those are the only weapons that I'm actually missing aside from Season of... Not Season. Uh, the uh, the Zer weapons, I still don't have those as well. Some of the... Um, whatchamacallit some of the raid weapons as well i haven't completed them especially uh the season of the witch or not season of the witch season of the uh or no witch queen witch queen weapons i still don't have completed as well so there's a bunch of stuff that i could be doing right now this one i definitely need to get oh my god i forgot about that one because i think this is part of a season if i remember correctly i might be mistaken on that one um yeah there's just a bunch of stuff that i still haven't done because i just don't really care specifically like the not the other half the death's razor and then throne cleaver those are from season of the witch if i remember correctly so there's a bunch of stuff that i will have to be doing just to oh wait that, the other thing that i totally forgot is the titles i still don't have all the titles that i want so yeah there's a bunch of stuff that i still have to do unfortunately i kind of don't have the drive to do it because uh world of warcraft's new thing came out which is really really fun which is essentially the remix of one expansion and it's really really cool and really fun and i want to play that instead but we'll see what i do if i don't get some of those things i'm gonna be pretty sad but yeah i'm really excited for the next expansion because that means new armor which means new videos for you guys but also new content for everyone just in general and unfortunately i did not do rep and reviews that being said i did get a full-time job so that's probably why i just had no time to do those because i'm still catching up on fashion stuff so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later